Hey guys, how's it going? Alright, so uh, a couple things going on in the knife shop. Uh, I got a couple orders I got to fill. These are the last of the 1095 um, Huntsman. These are all the new D2 Huntsman. I have about 30 of these blanks already cut, ready to go. As you can see, they're all going to be marked D2. Alright, and then the other side will have my name on it. These are a little bit oversized, they're a quarter of an inch thick, but they are D2, so what's great about that is it's, a, it's almost a semi-stainless tool steel, which is great. You don't have to worry about any type of rusting or blood and guts getting on there and, and kind of uh, rusting the steel or damaging the steel in any way whatsoever. So D2 is the way to go for the new Huntsman. If you want it, you can go up on the website and order freeriverblades.com. The other thing that I got going on is I just got in my new, if I can put it back in here, oven. I got in my new Paragon oven. Uh, I haven't used it yet. I'm still trying to figure out if this is the best place possible for it. It's probably not. I probably have to move it out into uh, an open area, but right now it's out of the way. Um, a lot of people ask me, why don't you do your own steels or heat your own steels and the reason is very simple is that I do a lot of stuff in batches. I make about 30-40 blades, I get them cut from water jet, I grind them out, once they're ground out, send them to heat treat, I bring them all back, I finish grinding them, put the handles on and send them out um, to the customer. And this process would slow me down quite a bit if I had to do them one at a time. and um, I get it done professionally by Peter's Heat Treat, which is outstanding. They, they've always done the right thing by me. But if I wanted to make those one ofs or, or something like that, at least now I got a heat treat oven. This happens to be the KM18 Deep. I call it the 18 Deep. It does run on a 110, 110 uh, voltage, which is great because I can plug it into any household utility. Uh, unfortunately it's probably going to run me a lot of money to run this off my own utility service which is probably why I'll only be using it for one of those you know one ofs or if I wanted to make something special I do have uh, quenching plates so these are the uh, aluminum quenching plates and I have a couple other little accessories but I haven't opened it yet and it'll probably be a while until I break into it. I'm still trying to finish customer orders and as you guys know the summertime is fun time and I know a lot of people are out. A lot of the knife making that I do and that's profitable will be in the winter months. I know fall's coming up so if you are interested in a knife for hunting season now I have the brand new D2s uh, Huntsman that will be available immediately on purchase so make sure you uh, go to the website and order that. Other than that, still working. Uh, a lot of you guys know that I do the uh, survival part of the videos. You'll be seeing a couple more survival videos coming up shortly uh, as far as how to build kits. I am an avid hiker. I like to be outdoors. Summertime is really good for that. Fall is even better. Uh, if I can get out there and go hunting this, this, this year, uh, I, I definitely plan to do that. Maybe take a little video we'll see what happens you know with work and family and everything else um, so that's pretty much it guys uh, if you're interested I have all the other blades I have I have tons of blades um, smaller blades if you're interested let's see mosquitoes talons um, let's see what else I got I got the bushcraft knife if you're interested in that this is the mark one scout I have the wingman little smaller knife this is uh, 154 cm stainless steel knife and of course I do have a lot of the um, last ditch twos and if you're interested in killing dinosaurs and zombies I definitely have the one seven so I have quite a selection of blades just go up to the website check out if you see something you know, like um, you know purchase it shoot me an email whatever I did have somebody send me some wood I think I forget what kind of wood this is uh, but this is some nice wood that uh, the customer requested for scales if you have something like that that's not a problem if you want to ship it to me I will 
put it on your knife for you. Just no soft woods. Just please don't give me any soft woods. Don't give me no two by four wood because that's not going to stand up and it'll probably split. So, but uh, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to do some grinding. So if you want to stick around and watch me grind, great. If not, have a great day. Thanks. Go to Tree River. Thank you.